Hi, I'm George Pearson, and this is my review of the brand new Adobe Photoshop Elements version 2019. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, and of course, as always, share with your friends. Just go right down there below the video, click that share button, and share with your friends through social media. If you don't want to miss out on any of my videos in the future, make sure you also hit that subscribe button as well. And to learn a lot more about my different training titles, there's a link right down there in the description where you can find out all about my training courses. Okay, let's get to it. I know a lot of you who follow me on YouTube wait for my reviews to decide whether or not to upgrade. Now, if you are brand new to Photoshop Elements, if you don't have the program before, 2019 is a great version. It, it does everything that you would expect Photoshop Elements to do, and it's a wonderful program. I happen to like Photoshop Elements a lot. Whether or not you want to upgrade from a previous version, it depends upon which version you have. The more recent your version, the less reason there is to upgrade. The earlier version, the more reason there is to upgrade. Normally, I'm kind of bunching the latest two or three versions kind of together as, as one group. If you have anything before those versions, then definitely upgrade. For instance, if you have Photoshop Elements 14 or earlier, definitely go ahead and do the upgrade. If you have 15 or 18, then watch through this video to see if there is enough here to make it worthwhile for you to make that upgrade. All three of those versions are actually very, very similar. So let's go ahead now and take a look at Photoshop Elements 2019, see what they've changed, see what they've added, see what they've removed. I'm right here on the basic sales page for Adobe Photoshop Elements 2019, right there on the Adobe website. And if you scroll through, it sounds like a great program. And again, if you haven't used it before, it is a great program. But I have some caveats about this particular version. We'll be taking a look at that. But first, let's just see what's actually new in here, and then I'll give you my opinions as we go. Go over here to the buying guide right there. And in the buying guide, there's a list of, kind of a comparative list here of features. Now, this doesn't mention everything. I'll toss a couple of more things in here as we go. But it's a pretty good way to start and take a look at this. At the very top here, they have this dive right in bit. And the top section here, couple of things that they mentioned. The brand new home screen, this replaces the startup screen from previous versions of Photoshop Elements and has this thing here called auto-generated creations delivered right to you upon launch powered by Adobe Sensei. Let's see what that is talking about. We'll go ahead and switch over right now to that home screen and that's right there. There's the home screen. This is the first thing that pops up when you start up Photoshop Elements. Now, again, this replaces the earlier start screen, and it's supposed to have those auto creations right down here. They're supposed to be showing right down here. It takes a look at your Outlook catalog, and it grabs what it thinks are the best pictures, and then gives you little demos in here of what those things can do in their slideshows and different layouts and so forth. And unfortunately, I have not gotten this to work for me. I have not seen that once. So as far as that first bit here, Auto-generated creations delivered right to you upon launch, powered by Adobe Sensei. I'm not seeing this. This has not worked for me. So maybe it works for somebody else. I don't know. Hasn't worked for me. All I get is this thing here, which says Add Media, and this simply gives you the Import button for the organizer. I've done that several times, and still nothing shows up over here. Don't know why, but nothing does. Now, does that really matter? No, it doesn't really matter. If I'm going to be doing slideshows, I don't want to be choosing my own slides for the slideshows and not let them just grab whatever they feel like doing into those slides or into these kinds of collections. Whenever I've allowed them to do that, they always grab the wrong pictures. So, you know, I'm, I don't really don't care about that. It's not a feature that I would ever, ever use. On the right-hand side over here, we have fast launch buttons for the organizer, the editor, and the video editor. This is Premiere Elements right there, and some recent files right down here. Above that, across the top here, these little things, little, little popovers like that, little text about what this stuff is all about. This is basically sales stuff in here. There are a few training videos, real quick things in here. Mostly this will be little sales pitches and links to their guided edits on how the guided edits work for both Photoshop elements and also for Premiere elements. What this really is, 
and pretty much what this whole home page really is is simply the old eLive button that was inside of the editor and the organizer placed here instead on this home page. So if you go into the programs, go over there to the program, you'll see up here eLive is no longer there. They've removed the eLive and that's really what you're getting here with the new home page. You know, again, I never used eLive, so I don't really care about that. But that's what you have going on right there. So is the home page really worth it? If you're brand new to Photoshop Elements, you've never tried it before, this is a useful tool to quickly get started with it. It's mostly working with the guided edits, though. So again, it's, it's for brand new beginners who've never used Elements before. They're just getting into it. They haven't really gotten to learning about it. And realistically speaking, they probably haven't even seen my YouTube channel. So it, it's for those people. And it, it's good for that. Once you've used it once or twice, you no longer care about it. And there's another problem here with this new version 2019. And that's that you can't get rid of this thing. In the earlier versions of the starting screen, the startup screen, there was a little option, a little drop down up here that you could choose which program you wanted to open up when you first open up Photoshop Elements. Do you want it to open up the startup screen? Or did you want to open up the organizer or open up the photo editor? So you had those three options. And you could just choose that from the little drop down list up there. They've removed that from 2019. So this thing always starts up before your, your editor starts up or before your organizer starts up. It's not a big deal, but that adds in another five seconds on load time, at least one on my timing of it. It added an additional five seconds of load time. So it actually slows the program down just a bit because you can't directly do that. I'll show you how to fix that problem here in just a second. Now the other problem with this is the startup screen used to go away as soon as you clicked on the program you wanted to work with. It would then close down and get out of the way. This thing doesn't close down. Once you've opened up your Photoshop Elements program, this is the editor, or you open up the organizer, that home screen still stays there. See, it's still sitting there in the background. So it doesn't go away. Only way to do that is actually close it down up here. So you're going to have to manually close this thing down every single time you open up Photoshop Elements. And for me, that's a bit of a hassle. Now, there is a way to get around that, and that's to not open up this file and then choose which one you want to open, but instead open up one of these two things directly. And here's how you do that. Now, this is for all of you Windows users. I don't have a Mac, so I can't show you the Mac version of how to do this. I'm sure there is one, but I don't happen to know what that is. So this is for, the, for Windows. Open up your main drive, program files, go into the Adobe folder, and then into the Photoshop Elements 2019 folder right there. Now, that folder looks like a program. Let's just back up one step here. It has kind of a funny icon right there, but it's still a folder. You can see over here it says File Folders. It's still a folder. Just double click on that, open that up, scroll down quite a ways down here, down towards the bottom. And right here it says Photoshop Elements Editor. Using your right mouse button, just drag this over onto your desktop and choose Create Shortcut. That will then put a shortcut for this on your desktop and that will open up the editor directly and bypass all the nonsense there with that home page thing. If I back up one step in here, you will see right down here is an element 19 organizer 2019 organizer let's open this one up and scroll down a little bit as well again way down here towards the bottom and there's the Photoshop elements organizer same thing simply right click and drag that with your right mouse button on your desktop and choose create shortcut then get a shortcut to that of course you also can simply open up the organizer right from the editor if that's easy enough to do at the bottom of the editor window so there you go. That's how you can bypass that home screen. And once you get tired of looking at it, I got tired after about opening it three times. I went ahead and made my own shortcuts, found my shortcuts for that. And then I could then open up Elements 19 directly. And I always open up the organizer from the editor anyway. So that was all I needed was that one shortcut. And we'll scroll down a little bit again, go down quite a ways. And it's that one right down there. So again, right click, drag it on your desktop and you're all set. Okay, so that's a look then at the home page, the brand new home page. Now, something else about this home page, let's go back to their ad page here. Here we are back at the first page for the new Elements 19. I wanted to show you something, and I got to this page by going to the home page there and coming down to 
Elmlet's 2019 family right here. And here's this home page. I wanted to show you something in their ad spiel on this, but in the middle of my recording this video, they've actually changed what the page says. So they've changed this page. You used to have a bunch of examples in here and things and a bit more sales text. Now it's just this comparison. Not sure why they changed that, but one thing they did say on that earlier version was that this new Adobe Sensei technology, their new AI technology, speeds up installation and also speeds up processes so the program runs faster. Now I've actually timed the program. I've, I've timed it opening this up, I've timed it opening up the editor, I've timed it doing a few things, slideshows and different processes and so forth, and compared those to version 2018, and I'm not seeing any difference at all. I'm not seeing any change in how long it takes it to do anything. So maybe that's why they changed their page, because that just wasn't true. So you know, there isn't, if you, if you saw that, and you're worrying about how it can you know, speed things up, I'm not seeing it when I'm actually timing this thing in the real world. So you can forget about that one. Let's go back again to the editor here, and let's look at some of the new features. And there aren't that many, unfortunately, here inside of the Elements 2019 program. There are some new guided edits, four to be precise on that. Three are here in fun edits, and one is in the special edits. So there's just four new things inside here. There's some other new things elsewhere. We'll take a look at those in just a minute. But the first one of our fun edits is this thing up here called their Meme Maker. Take a photograph. It'll drop in a background for you and give you some text in there to go ahead and put some text on it. And you can then upload that to social media, whatever. Now, this is one of their brand new features. If this looks at all familiar here, even with a little kitty cat, it looks at all familiar to you. Take a look down here. This is one of the projects from my training for version 2018. Putting a picture on a page and putting in some text. My text is a bit more advanced than their text. My picture is in a shape and theirs isn't. There's real, real basic, but the basic concept right there just coincidentally somehow matches one of my projects from my 2018 training. Okay, so that's one of theirs. Interesting little coincidence there, possibly. Their next one here is this multi-photo text where you can open up a picture, type a word onto that picture, and then those letters are converted into frames. They can then add in pictures inside of those individual letters. And it's actually very easy to do. You just click on a letter, the frame is already set up for you, and you can drop in your picture. Interestingly enough, though, if you take a look down here, I had this thing in my training, which is how to put individual pictures inside of letters. This is a bit more advanced. I have some effects in here, some beveled edges on letters, a few things that they can't do in theirs. Just interesting coincidence again that this new feature here happens to match one of the training projects that I did right down there. Okay, enough of that. Let's just scroll down a little bit here, a bit further. Here's all the rest of everything else. We'll come back to this in just a second. Let's go over here to the special edits and right here Another one of these new guided edits. This is adding text and border overlay. So you can see here, there's a regular picture. And with this, you can choose a frame. Now they give you a little list of about six frames you can choose. And you can add some text right up in that one position there. You can change the typeface on that, but it always puts it up in that same position. All of it's very, very basic and you can't really do a whole lot. And this really is grabbing this stuff, grabbing that frame there from the graphics and frames section, which you can access over in the expert mode here of Photoshop Elements. I don't know if it's just a coincidence or not, but in my version 2018 training, I did a video about using frames and also shapes and text and effects and so forth taken from the graphics section of Photoshop Elements. Again, this is on my version 2018. Odd coincidence, possibly, who knows. Okay, let's go ahead and go back here to our fun edits. And the last of these new guided edits is what they call partial sketch. And that's converting your image into kind of a combination of pencil sketch and image. This is actually very easy, quick and fun to do, but basically it's just giving you a pencil sketch version of your image on top of your image and a layer mask. And the painting part is just painting into the layer mask. There's nothing fancy about that. Probably just a coincidence, but this summer I did a video on YouTube about how to do a partial sketch and photo image combination right down here. Now this was done for 
Photoshop and not for Elements, but it's the exact same technique in either program. So again, coincidence, whatever. Okay, so much for their guided edits. As you can see, I'm not really that big of a fan here on these things. Now, I will be doing a second video showing you how to use these for edits. I'll, I'll go through the whole step-by-step -step process on all four of these new guided edits. All of these guided edits do a fast and easy take on these different effects. They're very quick, very easy to do. And if you are a beginner here to Photoshop Elements, it's, it's an easy way to go. Now, my versions, I guess you'd call that my versions of these same topics down here, are much more complicated, much more intensive on what you can do. But along with that, they have far more flexibility. You can do anything you want with, with my technique. These are all expert mode techniques as opposed to these guided mode techniques, which are purposefully as easy as possible. So that takes a look at those four. This is the main thing that's actually different here in this version of Photoshop Elements are these four new guided edits. Let's just switch over here to the expert mode just for a bit. And we'll look at one of the other changes in here. If you go up to create and photo collage right there, let's open this up and it opens up on the right hand side different collage techniques. Now they've added in a bunch of new stuff over here. They've added in some new templates. And if you like using their pre-made collage templates, it, it's a nice new collection of templates. But again, it's fairly limited. Now it's going through right now, grabbing my images down below there and putting those into one of their templates. There you go. And here's what's new, is the stuff over here, the different layouts for your templates. And I think this is actually a better layout. They're a bit more conservative than they had before. It was kind of wacky before. These are a bit more conservative on their layouts, but they're nice layouts. There's kind of a circle layout. That one's interesting. So better selection in here. So if you're a fan of using the creations up here and you like using this automated photo collage tool, then this actually is a nice advance on that. So that's brand new, these different new layouts down in here. And so some of these are also aimed at specific things such as landscape or portrait mode, Facebook cover, and Instagram. Now, once you have made these, you can then use your share button over here and share them out. Now, that's something else which I came across in my research for this video, which is not really mentioned any place. It's over here on share. Notice how they have lost Facebook. So you can no longer share to Facebook out of Photoshop Elements. That's gone. You, of course, can always just save it out as a JPEG file and then share that to Facebook. No big deal but you can't share directly to Facebook outside of Photoshop Elements. And it's just a little thing which wasn't mentioned any place. I had to kind of dig to find that, but they've removed that from the program. There's one last thing I haven't mentioned here because I'm working in Windows, and that's something that is for the Macintosh people. And this may actually be useful. I don't know because I don't run Mac. If you have Mac OS 10.13 or higher, the program now accepts HEIF file format. That's a high efficiency image format. Again, it's a Macintosh thing. I have no information on that, but if you are a Mac user in the graphics, I'm sure you know about what that is. Photoshop Elements can now work with that, the HEIF file format. Again, it doesn't impact us over here on Windows. Okay, so that's a look through then at everything I've discovered here about the Photoshop Elements 2019, aiming and looking really specifically here at the editor and at that home page. There's also a button right down here for the home page, as you can see right there. And again, the eLive is gone. That's really just been moved to that home page. So, what are my thoughts here on the new Photoshop Elements 2019 and whether you should upgrade or not? Basically, the same advice I had for 2018. If you have version 15, and in this case, or version 2018, there's no real reason to upgrade to version 2019. It's really the same thing as 2018 with those new guided edits and these new templates tossed in. There's really nothing else new here. I did a lot of tests and I don't see anything from that Adobe Sensei. I think they just named their AI technology. They just gave it a name this time around. Maybe that affects other programs, but it doesn't seem to be making any difference here in Photoshop Elements. So again, if you have version 15 or version 2018, I wouldn't bother with the upgrade yet. There's really nothing here unless you like those four guided edits. If you have an earlier version, version 14 or earlier, then yes, definitely upgrade to this new version because there was a lot of stuff put in in version 15 that's still here that is an improvement or version 14 and earlier. If you're using version 10 or before, then you should definitely upgrade anyway because of the 
change. Now, one thing when you upgrade here in Photoshop Elements, it doesn't delete your old version. So if you're using 10 or 9, I happen to love 10. I think 10 is a great version. It's the best version still of Photoshop Elements, especially with the organizer. There's so much more you can do with the organizer in version 10 that you can't do in the current versions. But you don't lose those old versions. So you can keep your version 10 or your version 9 and have the newer version for all the nice new features. And what about some of the things that people have been hoping to see in version 2019? First, the problems up here on Enhance. If you come down to the Open Closed Eyes, I really didn't like this back in version 18. It had a lot of problems. I did a video on how to get around those by doing it in a different manner, which actually works. I was hoping that since they had mentioned this in the 2019 ad page, I was hoping that they actually had fixed that. But nope, no change. Open Closed Eyes is exactly the same as it was in version 18. A lot of people were hoping that, let me just get rid of this thing here, were hoping that there be a change over here with the layers and that Adobe would have added in some channel control in here. Nope, hasn't happened. There is no channel still in here. You still have to use a plugin to get to channels. What this version really feels like to me is that they had to release a version for 2019. They asked somebody on their team to take version 18 and add in a couple of guided edits, maybe some you add in some new stuff over there on the creations, and that was about it. So it's really just version 2018 with a couple, there were four actually new guided edits tossed on top of it, and those new templates, and really nothing else. Again, that Adobe Sensei just seems to be that they've just decided to give a fancy name to their existing artificial intelligence technology. I don't really see any difference there either. The speed improvements, I timed it, and I didn't see any speed improvements on that, so there's really nothing there either. So again, there you go. That's my look. That's my feel about the new version 2019. I am rather disappointed in this version. It isn't an advance on the previous version in the least. There's really nothing new here. I don't care for that home screen. I think it's useless. I don't like that they removed the ability to not have to look at that each time you open up the program, although I showed you a workaround for that one already. And again, I'll be doing a separate video going over these guided edits in here, showing you how to use each one of these new guided edits using their techniques and you know nothing else, just showing how those actually work. And that's for anybody who has my version 2018 training and wants to get that bit of training without buying my version 2019 training. So there you go. That's a look then at the new Adobe Photoshop Elements version 2019. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.